wow, wow, wow. So it's been an interesting and a learning experience um, from the demise of Ambassador Dada Padera um, to spending time with his wife, mourning with her, consoling her, um, allowing her to grieve um, the way um, that she best knows how, and then meeting with family members as well as honoring her and respecting the culture, her wish, you know, I was wearing a head tie, but her wish was for me to wear this wrap, I think hijab. So I've been wearing it. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but because she asked me um, to wear it and said I should get one, I was able to find a scarf that I had from the U.S. and brought it with me. So it was beautiful. What I captured today with family and friends and from imams coming to pray with her and women sitting at her feet and serving her from morning to evening. It was beyond um, beautiful. You cannot measure that type of cultural love or respect. Um, there was a lot of accolades and admiration for um, His Excellency. You had staff from the American Embassy show up with this beautiful bouquet of flowers. I was able to take a picture of it to capture it. And then we all sat down um, wherever we could, on the floor, on the couch. I basically sat with Mama the entire time and we all shared from the same dish and we had um, drinks. It's just amazing how the culture comes together. Um, the, the women cook, uh, the women pray certain times, and we stayed indoors. And the men were outdoors offering prayers, also um, admonishing and admiring the ambassadors. So you could hear them telling stories about who he was and the type of work that he did while he served as a civil servant and then a um, public servant. So it was just amazing to hear all the beautiful things that he has done for Gambia and I believe spiritually will continue to do through the work of those who love them the most. So um, we'll be documenting more, we'll have a conversation and an interview of the women so that you can get a full understanding of what it's like culturally when someone um, demises. You'll get to know the steps, the processes, and how they facilitate um, the time frames and periods. So we just finished our seven day um, morning with Mama Federa, the ambassador's wife, and then she has to do a 40-day morning and then a four-month, four 10-day morning. So um, from what I understand, and we'll, I'll get better clarity for you, from what I understand is that when they got married, the ambassador had to pay a dowry and it came in 40, um, four months, 10 days. So the dowry he paid has to match the morning period that she's going through now. And it's beautiful when you do it as a whole and you have family, both a, um, immediate family, extended family, the village, everybody is a brother, everybody is a sister, everybody is an uncle, and bloodline um, is paying no factors in it. So if you're closely related or have a um, wonderful friendship with a person, they'll say, that's my cousin brother, that's my brother, that's my mother. So I've met amazing people. So I want to pull all of this together for you. I'm going to spend some time in the village. Um, I do that already, but I'm going to spend more time there. Uh, Mama has requested that I do so 
to continue to honor my brother, the ambassador. He um, had so many things that he wanted me to do and mama has insisted that I honor him and stay here and complete those things that um, he wanted to do. You know, it's difficult for me to do that. The reason why I came to Gambia was to honor him and um, to do the work that we talked about. And then I was patiently waiting for his arrival for us to do the work together. Now I'm kind of feeling like I'm flying solo, but the, the spirit of um, His Excellency is alive and well, and he has given me insurmountable peace um, about the work that I am doing. I, I feel as if he is well pleased, and in my mind, I am saying I must go, but his spirit is telling me the work is not completed. You must stay, and so um, I honor him enough to let go of my anxiety, my stress, my fears of, of where this thing is going and where it's leading to. Um, I honor him enough and I trust the spirit in me um, to be able to continue to guide me and give me peace. So as I move forward, I am focusing on those things that will please him and also that will move the needle forward for Gambia. So I, I am hopeful that uh, we all will come together and look for practical solutions that we can do today, today, today in order to understand um, the depth of the goals that he had for this country. So with that, you'll see more of a documentary. You'll see me piecing this thing um, together, but today I look like a real Gambian African woman. It was exciting, exciting, and not only that, I felt like it and uh, was truly embraced uh, by all who were there. And uh, some knew me, knew me well, and knew why I was there. Others didn't, but they respected the fact that um, the people who knew me then there was no issue. So I had a little bit of a lead way when most likely others would not. So I was well embraced and I, and I wholeheartedly appreciated the love. But I do want to share with you my experience for, from the seventh day of charity. So um, when the ambassador demise, you start seven days of charity. So everybody would bring money and different things for mama. Today was the last day, it is Friday. Actually, the last day is Saturday, but according to customs and traditions, it does not be fitting to have the seventh day fall on a Sabbath day, which is a Saturday. So they moved it to Friday. And it was overwhelmingly crowded with so many people who came to pay their last respects and to break bread with mama. So with that, I will um, share with you uh, big pictures and then there'll be like an interview and we'll have a conversation with um, mama and family members. God bless.
Thank you.